Hello guys and welcome to another video here on Xerxes Animations. Today I'll give another tutorial on how to make things fly using the app Stop Motion Studio Pro, because I have improved my craft and quite a lot has changed in the app because of updates. Let's get started. I'm gonna let Jeff over here throw his axe in this zombie. For a realistic effect, I'll bend Jeff backwards, and then, when he throws the axe, he leans forward. As soon as he lets go of the axe, make a blank picture without the object, so without the axe. Now the reason you take these blank pictures in between is because you can basically erase the clay and then use the previous clean frame for the background. When the axe is flying, you're gonna need something to keep it stable in the air. I'm gonna use clay. Make a picture with the axe attached to the clay, but be careful you don't cover up any of the parts of the axe, because you have to mask out all of the clay and you don't want any holes in the axe. I did this wrong the first time. Then take the object out of the shot and make another blank picture. Keep on doing this until the axe hits its target. Now you're gonna have to remove all the clay from the shots and make it look like the object is actually flying. Click the erase button to do so. And yes, this costs money if you don't already have Stop Motion Studio Pro. You can buy it in the app for $1 or you can buy the entire app for $5. To erase something, move your finger across the area you want to erase. This process is called masking. If you made a mistake, just click the undo button up here. Once you're done masking, delete all the pictures you took in between. And then you're done! The end result will look something like this. If you want camera movement when he throws the axe, move the camera every blank picture, so the pictures without the axe. You can check out this tutorial for a more in-depth look. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments down below. Share this video around to anyone for who this might be useful and be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and want more tutorials. Thanks for watching.